Did you know that desk ergonomics, or how you're positioned at your desk in front of your computer, is one of the important, most important aspects to preventing carpal tunnel syndrome? It's true, you may spend hours in front of your desk, and if you're not positioned properly, you're putting your joints at a disadvantage, and which compounds over time and starts to impinge the median nerve that travels from your neck, shoulder, arm, and into the first, second, third, and fourth finger. So today I've got some simple techniques to help make sure your body is staying in great alignment while you're working to help prevent carpal tunnel syndrome. Hi, I'm Coach Todd with feelgoodlife.com where we help people over 50 defeat joint pain. And if you love learning about how to keep your joints healthy, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. We, re we release videos every week to teach uh, you how to keep your joints strong, healthy, and pain-free. All right, so tip number one is you wanna make sure your monitors are level with your head. Now, the way the camera's angled, it looks like the both of my monitors, uh, I've got dual monitors, looks like there's a slight decline angle to my eyes, but uh, the way they're actually positioned is they're re literally right in front of my face. So when I'm working, my neck is in a neutral spine, so I'm not looking down. If my computer was down here, you can see how my neck is pushing forward. That's where it's uh, really popular online, right? That f uh, forward head posture. And this is why it's caused. People are typing on the computers like this. They're positioning their head forward, putting strain on their neck, which impinges upon that median nerve. So when you're setting up your desk, make sure you've got your, uh, your monitors are right in front of your face. And if you've got a laptop, what you can do is, what I have here is an adjustable laptop stand and I can put a link down in uh, the description on Amazon there I don't know 10 bucks I have had this for years I don't remember exactly what it is but it's about 10 bucks and you can adjust it you can see kind of this accordion style um, you know they even have these little degrees on here so you can have it on your desk pop your laptop up and when you have a Bluetooth keyboard and a, a mouse that's just disconnected from your uh, keyboard. You don't need to have your hands up here. You can have them in perfect alignment, which we're gonna show you uh, in a second where your hand should be. But your monitor for your laptop or, uh, sorry, we've got a fly rolling around here. Um, we're traveling around the country in an RV with four little kids. So uh, sometimes the uh, outside likes to go inside with us. So just one of the, uh, the, uh, the work hazards, so to speak. So anyways, so laptop is here in front of you and that's a tip, you can buy an accordion or an adjustable desk, um, a laptop stand. Now, same thing with the laptop, or the, the desktop rather. This is an iMac and I've got my uh, stand, you can see here, this is an adjustable stand and it comes with these little pieces right here where you can raise this this stand up again i'll put a link in the description uh, but you can lift this up as high or as low as you want i think it comes with three each for each um each side and this is ideal for me um, this again is both monitors are right in front of my face so i'm not looking down my neck is neutral and while i'm working my my head feels really comfortable sitting on my shoulders and my neck and I can work for, for hours without really having neck pain at all. All right, so now how should you sit at your desk to prevent wrist pain? Well, the first thing is, again, if you've got a, a Bluetooth keyboard and a mouse, now you can control where you position that on your desk, right? And so you don't want it too far forward, right? Because then you have to lean forward as you're typing, right? You can see my body is now out of alignment and you don't necessarily want it too close too. See how my elbows are now not at a 90 degree angle. They're kind of hunched way back here and sometimes what that does is it lifts your shoulders up. So you wanna position your keyboard as well as your mouse so that they're directly in front of you and that your elbows are at about a 90 degree angle. So I've got, you can see here, my elbows are at a 90 degree angle. It's comfortable, my shoulders are relaxed. Now there's some extra things that you can get, some ergonomic, uh, mouse, mice or mouses, as well as some keyboards that have an additional piece that rests 
uh, that you can rest your wrists on, uh, as well as uh, a mouse that you can actually have sideways so that your your uh, hand is more upright. And and that those are great. Those are great investments. Uh, they're relatively cheap. I haven't purchased one yet, uh, but those are two really good investments that you can do. But think of it as the key is to keep your body in a neutral position. So again, the last tip was neutral spine in the neck and your cervical spine. And then this one is keeping your elbows at a 90 degree angle, not reaching too far and not keeping your elbows too far back, but sitting upright with the keyboard right in front of you with your elbows just hanging right by your side. All right, so the next thing to think about is your chair and how to sit in your chair to help prevent carpal tunnel and uh, wrist pain. So what you wanna do is, and again, this is just basic good ergonomics for uh, while you're working. I've kind of scooched back so you can see a little bit more. I've got this swivel chair here. Um, this really isn't the best chair for for me, I'm larger, but what this this is as low, essentially as low as it can go, and you can't see it. My feet aren't touching, but I've got this little stand, um, this kind of this little ring. I'll just I'll just show it here, um, if you can see that there. Again, you can see our RV. We're kind of in a renovation stage, but this is the little stand here. And what happens is I put my feet on that, uh, my heels on it and uh, my knees are now parallel with my hips, which is right where they should be. Um, if I put my feet on the ground, you can start to see this. Uh, my knees are lower than my hips, which isn't ideal, especially for long periods of time. And um, so I put my heels right on this uh, circular stand. Um, my knees are now no longer at a 90 degree angle. So ideally you want your knees at a 90 degree angle uh, most people that are not in an RV, uh, RVs kind of kind of give you this extra challenge with finding um, furniture that's actually going to be conducive for the small size of an RV. Uh, but you're likely not in an RV. You've got a home, so you can choose uh, more practically, so to speak, for ergonomics. So again, feet. You want your feet flat on the floor. Your knees at a 90 degree angle, and your knees uh, at the same level as your hips. And so while you're working, that pressure is evenly displaced down your buttocks and some of that weight is in your feet and you're resting and not dangling your legs too far low and your knees aren't too far up because what that can do is it can shorten the hip flexors, which um, starts to, to tilt the pelvic bone forward and then that can cause low back pain uh, as well. So you really want that neutral um, uh, your le your femur, your knees and your hips parallel and your feet flat on the floor. All right, well, the final tip for you is uh, while you're working, you want to take frequent breaks, right? So you've got your setup, you're in great alignment, and sometimes you can kind of get in the zone as you're writing emails or doing whatever you're doing on the computer. Uh, but what you want to do is set up a timer. There's apps on your phone, on your on your laptop, and your on your uh, desktop, whatever it may be, to set timer for every 20, 30 minutes, every 30 to 40 minutes um, to take breaks and stretch out. So again, when you're looking forward, um, you know, for a longer period of time, good, a good rule of thumb while you're taking a break is to change that up. So you can arch up, stretching out that spine. You can do shoulder rolls. You can turn your head and you can create a, a, really a sequence. And this video um, is really the, the part three to a three-part series that we have to help defeat carpal tunnel syndrome. And I'll put links to you in the description um, as well as uh, kind of in that final um, uh, section in this video where we teach three wrist exercises to help uh, relieve carpal tunnel syndrome and um, postural exercises to relieve carpal tunnel syndrome. So if you are struggling with wrist pain or carpal tunnel syndrome, I highly recommend checking out those other two videos as well as in the description below, I'll create a link that has a four week relief plan for carpal tunnel syndrome, right? So it's not just about doing one or two little exercises here or there. You really wanna take it serious because carpal tunnel syndrome can start to cause even more and more pain, which uh, starts to destroy your quality of life and your independence, right? You need your hands and your wrists for doing lots of things, washing dishes, you know, holding onto the dog leash, 
uh, gardening, as well as working. And so you want to make sure you're taking care of your joints and doing just wrist exercises is not enough. We, we need to, a holistic approach to help defeat carpal tunnel syndrome. So thanks so much for watching. Uh, I'm Coach Todd with Feel Good Life. Make sure to hit that subscribe and the like button uh, and as well as leave a comment. And uh, we'd love to hear from you and have you join us as uh, we continue to build the Feel Good Life community uh, where people over 50 defeat joint pain. So thanks so much for watching and uh, I'll check you in the next video.